So now let's continue on with section five. When we just finished, we were doing our dive and lift and dive and lift and that knee bounce, that really fun movement to engage the audience. We're going to continue with our left shoulder sweeping across our body. So we do three of these sweeps, left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder, that's it. So there are three movements. First, I'm gonna step on my right foot with my left shoulder, really kind of pushing across my body. Let's try those three movements together, ready? Six, seven and eight, and one, two, three. And then we punctuate the phrase by throwing a fist up into the air. So my left fist and my left flex foot are gonna punch the air, ah, that's it. And it has a kind of a recoil, as, as soon as I hit my fullest extension, I power back from that fullest extension. So it goes, ha, and believe it or not, we say that too. So I need you to either say a ha or a ha, or some kind of vocal emphasis to add to our punch and kick. Let's just try that, ready? Six, seven, go, ha! Yeah, very nice. So there's one more additional element to that step and that's that we're doing a bit of a jump. So let's try and connect it to what came before. Our left shoulder slides across, one, two, three. I wind up so that I can leap as I do my ha. Ha, beautiful. From there, I'm going to step on my left foot and my foot uh, my right leg is going to sweep up and my hands come up until my palms are back to back and I'm in kind of a flexed foot passe position. As I step forward with my right foot, I'm going to draw down my hands in Alapadma and I'm looking down towards my right foot, the foot that just came through. So let's do that slowly again. So the last thing we did was this kicking action. As I finish the kick, I'm going to step forward on my left, draw up my hands with my right flex foot coming up, pull down with my beautiful lotus hands looking towards my right foot, and then repeat that movement on the other side. So I breathe up, flex the foot, draw it forward, and then step down, turn the palms inwards, really engaging the fingers, looking down towards the foot. Beautiful. Let's try that slowly from the beginning of this section. Starting with the left shoulder, we do one, two, three, and hit, up, down, up, down. Beautiful, let's try that a little bit faster together, just a hair faster this time. Five, six, seven, left shoulder goes one, and two, and three, and hit, up, down, up, down. Excellent, nice job. Let's try it one more time, and even a little bit faster this time. So five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, hit, and up, down, up, down. Nice job. We'll continue on from there. So we've just stepped forward with our left foot, looking down to our left foot, drawing our hands down in space. We're going to turn an upward palm to reach and unspin so that we turn all the way around to face the other side, looking towards the left. As we do that, the right arm is coming over the top so that we can do a clap. Beautiful. So from this hinging step where my back foot comes up, my right foot comes up, draw, up, draw. Then I untwist palm up. One, two, three. The clap is on four. Exactly. Now this clap initiates a movement in my leg. So I'm reaching out with my right hand. When I hit that hand on four, my left foot is going to pop up in space. A flexed foot pops up to my knee. So that's one, two, three, pop. Beautiful, let's do that one more time. One, two, three, hop. Beautiful, now we can't stay there, we have to continue on. So you can fall forward onto your left foot from there. So you get up, then you fall forward on five, the hands, like at the beginning of the dance, come to Alapadma placed at the hip bones. And we do four steps. One, two, three, four. Those can start to travel anywhere in the space. Let's go again from our hinging step where we do our palm, uh, backs of our hands and then pull down with those beautiful fingers. Five, six, seven, and eight. Go up, look to the foot. Go up, look to the foot. Palm up, two, 
three, magic number four. One and two and three and four. Good, excellent. We'll go back to the top, move slowly through from our shoulder initiation right until that clap. Here we go, five, six, seven, left shoulder goes one, two, three, hit. Go up, down, up, down, palm up, two, three, pop on four, step five, six, seven, and eight. And you'll see that you can start to move anywhere in the space. From this point where we're having our hands on our hips, we're gonna transition back to our energy ball. So we take that ball, and my ball's this size, but your ball could be bigger, your ball could be smaller. It doesn't matter what size it is, as long as it's pulses with energy. You're gonna move that ball through the space. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we bring it together as a team, seven and eight. So we're sharing our energy. Great. So if you have a small group like ours, it works really well that we all come together to share our energy. So if you have 10 people doing the dance or 20 people doing the dance, you might be able to get one group. If you're in a much larger group, you might have to do separate clusters that bring their energy together. You can make a plan as a team with your group which uh, way you're going to design this improvisation section. So from the Ala Padma hands, we walk one, two, three, four, then we do our ball improv, coming into whatever size group makes sense for your team. Then from here, we explode outwards, and we're going to go back to this beautiful flag hand and move like an airplane through space for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And again, that movement is of your own design. That's the end of this section, so let's go back to the beginning and do it through with counts. So we'll start with our two feet planted. What we just finished was dive, up, dive, up, bouncing knees, and let's continue. Go one, two, three, ha, and up, down, up, down, smooth, two, three, hit, four, and step, six, seven, and eight. Your ball goes one, two, three, four, five, six, bring it into your friends, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Excellent. Let's try that through one more time, and then we'll do it with the music. So this time, just a little bit quicker. Let's see if we can get closer to our music tempo. Here we go, five, six, seven, eight, and dive, and up, and dive, and up, and knees is the end of the last phrase. Go one, two, three, ha, and up, down, up, down, sweep, two, three, and up, five, six, seven, and ball goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and plane, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try it with the music. Ready? Here we go.